Alright guys, so I shot over to Gables Estates in Coral Gables, Florida to jump on this absolutely insane 41 Bahama behind me. So I'm going to quickly walk through everything now. We're going to get the drone in the air, show you some exterior footage and try to get into a bit of detail here. So if you find some value in our videos, please do us a favor and subscribe. It really helps keep this thing going. We really appreciate the support. Let's go ahead and start. So right off the bat. Looking at the anchor locker, something you don't see all the time is option for two anchors. You got your sand anchor and your reef anchor. Usually, at least we got to take that in a separate container, which is usually a pain. It's a nice little feature to have. We're up here at the bow, easy access, even though you have massive forward bench seats. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to crack open one of these just so you get an idea of the size. And this one has chill plates real cold air coming out of this thing i mean you really don't need ice this cooler lid is nice and cold and this one right here is actually just storage in this boat in particular so those are options you can add open this forward hatch absolutely massive storage box here up in the bow there's no shortage of storage on these 41s and the whole area down the center basically is storage and i'll kind of show you a little bit about that this is an owner boat that's actually going to be up for sale here soon so if you have any interest reach out forward lounger also has chill plates so really no need for ice on this boat these guys do a lot of diving and i'll show you some of the detail on that here soon but nice comfortable forward bench seat and just great space in the bow here removable backrests and these loungers, I mean, can fit two people long. That's how big they are, just for a gauge of space. See, we got open array radar right here, Garmin Electronics all the way through. I'll take you real quick just to look into the console cabin space. Now they have it for storage right now. You have head, head there, and storage all the way back underneath that makes it pretty much back towards the leaning post. So incredible storage space, access to Know some other products down there as well jl audio sound system large leaning post right here we're gonna get to the electronics see what they got going at the helm they have optimus 360 beautiful satin edson wheel you got two 16 inch garmin units right here and if you look right up above you got two 12s up in this base dual VHS here also this boat has quad 400s we'll make our way take a look here some storage and tackle storage as well always comfortable to have and we'll we'll go ahead and open this leaning post cooler chill plate everything nice and cold again no ice these are options you can add basically wherever you want on this thing seems like this one comes with a Sea Keeper 3. I'll try to open this up for you. There you have it. Nice big access to get into everything you have there, your batteries, etc. And we'll pop open the bilge. So beautifully clean finished bilge as you come to see more and more here from Bahama, one of the best in the business and then we have the height to be able to put 
buckets in here which organizes all your other stuff. Um, small detail, but something if you're around it enough, realize how important it is. Again, you got quad 400s on this one. This rear bench seat with it, which is ever so popular with Bahama. And then this additional cutting board is actually a really large cutting board that attaches onto these rod holders and you can pop it out if you decide not to use it. And the nice part is that you can still access your live wall. So I'll spin this way. You can see they have spear gun spear gun holders these guys basically do no fishing all they do is spear fish so they have this thing nice and clean no outriggers on it and just beautiful all around bow let me just get you a better look right here i'm going to see if i can climb up to the second station here without killing myself holding the camera all right so far so good I'll show you some of that not as nimble as i used to be actually one hand easy to get up here look at that another 12 inch garmin unit you got your optimus 360 from right up here as well and check out that view Made a quick run out here to Fowey, which you can see right behind me over there. I mean, we're doing 46, 47 knots, which John says is their uh, normal cruise speed. Can't really see it in the video, but it's, you know, two feet out here with some three footers. And this thing had no respect for that at all. I mean, we were just plowing right through. There were a couple of couple of uh, instances I thought we were gonna bang and, and we did not. I mean, it was smooth the whole time. Not one rattle, not one shake. Um, extremely solid ride from this Bahama 41.
All right, so we made an attempt to come into No Name Harbor here, but we didn't realize that we got up really early this morning and none of these people served breakfast. So everything's closed. Might shut that down a little early, but can't take away from what a beautiful landscape this is. Thankfully, was able to get a little drone footage and plenty of pictures of this gorgeous 41 Bahama. That's what we came to do, and I think we got that done. All right, so one detail I wanted to show you you might not catch is this negative recess here in the leaning post cooler bench seat. Now this is obviously a cooler, it has a chill plate option in there, but if you can see they ran this hatch all the way back in there and left that angle so you can open it up close to all the way, giving you excellent access into the sea keeper area and this connects down into the bilge. Um, so cool little idea, just wanted to point out in case you didn't catch it. Um, these guys think of it all and that, you know, little details like that just show that point. I was just telling Alan, we have the air dry build system in here. What that does is it comes on every every few min uh, 20, 30 minutes and then it senses pressure of any sort of moisture, water. If it senses it, it keeps pumping until it's gone. But what, what you get is the end result is bone dry bilges. You can see how clean and dry these bilges are. You're not going to see any mildew in here. Whether your boat is maintained or not, it's a really nice feature. It just fits everything else that we do. Another nice thing, you can't see it from your angle, but on this side, we actually also have a freshwater rinse for the sea keeper. So you can occasionally push some fresh water through there. Keep everything super happy. All right, so I'm going to open up the uh, whole side door, as you can see. Nice, beefy side door, tucks away out of the way. Check out that hinge. Serious hardware, great access. You know, whether you're spear fishing at the sandbar or docked up and just want easy access in and out of the boat. Really nice and super, super smooth. Lock it up just like that. doing about 37 knots and straight figure eights full circle pretty much the radius of the uh was almost like a boat length or a bit more real tight grabs well obviously you get a little something different when you have a straight v bottom like this bahama boat works and you can really tell in the maneuverability i mean super solid super smooth and this thing for a big girl can move All right, so we're rolling right back into Gables Estates here in Coral Gables, Florida. Calling it a day, early one. Got a lot of stuff done, got the drone up, got some pictures, got some video, and ho hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys find value, please do us a favor and subscribe and pass it along to friends and family and other people that you think would love to see information on this Bahama Boat Works and the hundreds of boats that we do walkthroughs on here throughout the year. 
So it really helps us. We appreciate the support always. And we want to thank John and Derek back there for giving me the time to jump on this beauty. And this one's available for sale. So if you are interested, reach out in the comments. We'll try to connect you, give you all the details and try to line up, um, you know, the right owner for this boat. Captain maintained, ceramic coated. I mean, this thing's got everything. You know, it looks brand new, um, just out of the factory, to be honest. So definitely worth a look if you guys are interested. Let us know and thank you again for watching.